We present a novel approach to learning meaningful controls for fluids. Before starting, let's answer a question. From this single density frame, what's your perception of its underlying motion? Even for non-experts, it is not hard to make the following guess. However, we cannot get such a result following this expectation when simulating directly from this initial stage with existing solvers. This is because solvers are purely based on abstruse physical parameters. While many entities like density, vorticity, kinetic energy, and obstacles, they have obvious semantic meanings. This poses an interesting challenge. Can we obtain a realistic motion following these controls? Facing many entities, our method handles these conditions together in one pass. With this, we can simulate from a single density input and follow user perception better. Our method allows users to design simulations via density modifications. They can also change simulations with obstacles and other physical quantities. The generation takes less than one second per frame. In the following, we display 2D and 3D results under different conditions. When only conditioned on density, our results closely follow the reference. Encoded in the latent space, physical parameters can be modified, and we generate corresponding results. Kinetic energy and vorticity modifications are also supported. Here we show modifications with uniform scaling. Texture-based modifications can be found in the supplemental video. We replay our 2D results generated under different conditions. Our results are generated using a single generative network. Our method generalizes to previously unseen shapes such as drawings. Here we show 3D results. Conditioned on the first density frame, our results are similar to the reference. Likewise, physical parameter modifications leads to conditional results in 3D. To summarize, we present a novel simulation algorithm with velocity inference from single density state, flexible support for multiple controls, and strong generalizing properties, which we will demonstrate with obstacles and others. In the following, we provide evaluations of control sensitivity. We compare five models with regard to the reference. Based on density without further modifications, all models match the reference equally well. After modification of enhanced buoyancy, models of peaks to peaks, MAE without adversarial learning, and conditional BE gun ignores the buoyancy conditions. Our result achieves improved sensitivity. That's our method yields an improved learned representation of the large and complex space of fluid motion. We further evaluate quantitatively by comparing to a series of references with varying conditions. Measuring the averaged similarity scores on these 150 frames with this LC metric, our results is closest to the correct reference. That's we achieved the desired sensitivity. More details are given in the paper. We display more results with varying modifications. In this 2D comparison, we gradually increase buoyancy from below training range to above. In this table with 3D results, buoyancy increases from column to column and vorticity is enhanced row by row. Our model works sensitively in a wide range of parameter settings. Here we show results with obstacles. 
Conditioned on a mask of obstacle regions, our network learns its influence on the velocity results. Our models see obstacles in regular shapes during training. It generalizes to irregular shapes well. Moving obstacles are also handled properly. We show 3D results with static and moving obstacles in regular and irregular shapes. Our smoke naturally flows around the fin of the fish. With this, we have presented a velocity generation method supporting sensitive controls from multiple visual quantities. Thanks for watching.